All right, guys, before we actually get started on the updates with the 6.0, I just wanted to thank all the support that I've gotten up to this point, and I want to actually announce that we're going to be doing some giveaways on the channel for some milestones that I want to hit. I'm not monetized. This is all coming out of my own pocket, so I want to do a couple giveaways. I want to do a giveaway at 100 subscribers, another giveaway at 500, and another giveaway at 1,000 and they're gonna gradually get a little bit bigger. Um, they're not gonna be huge giveaways to start, but I don't wanna stop doing the giveaways. I wanna continue to do the giveaways as we continue to grow. Show my support to you guys for showing your support by hitting that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button and you know, follow the channel, follow the builds. I have some big plans on what I wanna get done. So if you guys wanna actually see this channel gets somewhere bigger, grow a community so we can give back to you guys. Go ahead and show your support. Let's go ahead and get into the updates on the truck. What's going on today guys today we're going to be doing an update on the 6l you can tell that i did get it back from the shop if you haven't seen that video i'm going to post it up right here uh, go ahead and take a look at that that is going to be a good video um, where you guys can actually see the early symptoms of you guessed it bad head gasket failure so I have bad head gaskets on the 6.0. I just got it back from the shop. They diagnosed it, uh, just what I thought. You know, we have the symptoms that I showed in the other video. So if you guys wanna know that, go ahead and take a look at it. But I got it back from the shop and I wanted to give you guys an update about what's going on with it, when we're gonna get it fixed and um, what you need to look for and what you need to be aware of if you have bad head gaskets on your 6.0. So the first thing that I wanna talk about, like I said, I did not get it fixed. So the reason why I did not get it fixed is because the shop is trying to charge me a crazy amount for head gaskets. So I wanna give you some information on stuff that I have learned. Um, we're gonna get it fixed at the end of this month. I probably won't have it back for like a week or so. Um, this would be something that I would love to do myself, but I can't get it done myself because I have a warranty on the truck that will cover the bad head gaskets. So I have to have a professional shop do it. I don't know how to do that. That's way out of my realm. I would love to learn how to do that and get it done, but it doesn't look like for the amount of money that I'm gonna get the warranty to cover that I'm gonna even try to do that myself. The first thing that I learned, if you call a shop, no matter what, they will try to do the EGR cooler and the oil cooler just included in the cost. They're not even gonna entertain the fact of doing head gaskets without doing those two parts. These six O's are known to have that problem and the shop wants to make sure that they get it done right and that it's not gonna come back in because they're already digging in, getting to the head gaskets. They're just going to automatically just add that in as if it was part of the head gasket repair. So because I already have that done, I told the shops that I did not need that done um, and I just needed the head gaskets replaced. So if you're having a bad head gasket issue with your 6.0, the second thing that they're gonna try to do is they're gonna try to machine the heads. Now I called two shops and they wanted to machine the heads. They added that cost on there. Now my warranty is not gonna cover machining the heads. So there was price added additional to what was covered under my warranty because they actually wouldn't even touch the head gaskets without machining the heads. They don't know if they're warped. They haven't even dug into it, but they said to me that they won't even touch it. They always machine the heads. This is the interesting part because I have called to multiple shops, a couple shops, they did want to machine the heads. I did some research on the forums, um, you know, looking all around, trying to find out if I really needed the heads machined. The reason why I didn't want the heads machined is because I know I caught this issue very early. The reason why I know I got this issue very early is because three weeks prior, I had it at the shop to diagnose some other issues that I was having. And they told me, I told them to do a full diagnostic on it. And they told me 
that I only had bad injectors um, and an intercooler pipe. So they, they were checking for symptoms of bad head gaskets and they didn't find any. So now I'm having issues with bad head gaskets. You know, I don't have any of the um, major symptoms that have bad head gaskets, you know, uh, the degas bottle, uh, milk shaking and doing all that stuff, oil mixing in with the cooler. I don't have any of those issues. So I know that it is fairly early. The truck still runs and drives. However, I'm not gonna continue driving it because I don't wanna be at risk of warping those head gaskets. So do you need your heads machined before you do the head gasket? Now, I called a bunch of shops. They wanted to do the machine on the heads before they would even touch the head gaskets. I called another shop, told me, I talked to him about the estimate that I was getting, all that stuff. He told me that they definitely were overcharging me. He gave me a much better estimate on actually getting head gaskets done. And I told him I didn't need the EGR cooler or the oil cooler, and that actually dropped the price even more. With that, getting ARP head studs, getting new head gaskets. So this truck will have an oil cooler replaced, an EGR cooler replaced. Now I'm gonna have ARP head studs and new head gasket so that this issue won't happen again. So this ish, this truck is gonna be a good truck. I'm really excited to get that done. It's gonna be included in the warranty because if you go to a good diesel shop, they're not even gonna to touch the head gaskets without doing ARP head studs. They know that that's the most reliable way. If they reuse the head bolts that are already in there, they're gonna go bad and they know that. So they just include, yes, we do ARP head studs, no matter what. If you're trying to get your head gaskets replaced and they aren't gonna do ARP head studs, you're gonna have problems. So don't do it without doing ARP head studs. Don't go to a shop that's not gonna do it without doing the ARP head studs while they're already in there. Now, do you need to have your heads machined? This is a back and forth question. This is a question that a lot of people don't really know the answer to. I'm gonna give you the answer that I was given and I'm gonna give you the answer that I looked up I did a lot of research on um, after they told me they wanted to machine my head. So, so do you need your heads machined when you do the head gaskets? Now, your heads could be warped and that will cause problems. There's no point in replacing your head gaskets if your heads are warped. These heads are actually non-machinable. So I was told by a shop he said he knows a ton about 6.0s. They're, he gets them all the time, obviously, with the problems that they have. People have issues with these. And so he knew, He right off the bat, he was like, I don't know why they're trying to machine your heads. Those are not machinable heads. Now, there is a gray area with machining your heads. So one one thousandth of an inch to three one thousandth of an inch. That is between the gray area where you can get these machined, according to the research I've done and according to him. There is a little bit of gray area where you can get it machined if, you know, they're just a tiny bit warped and they still are reusable. What he told me is if it's more, or if it's five one thousandth of an inch, they're bad. They can't machine them. If you machine them more than that, or if you machine them at that level, then uh, they're gonna start running into stuff they're not gonna be any good. So there is that gray area where you can get them machined a little bit, but most of the time it's not really recommended according to what I was told because you're going to end up running into issues if you machine them more than that. So, and then you might as well just buy new heads at that point. So a lot of shops are actually gonna try to tell you and add into machining costs um, before they even know that they're warped. So what he told me is he's gonna dig into the truck, he's gonna take a look, they're gonna straight edge the, the heads. If they're any more warped than three one thousandth of an inch, he's just gonna tell me that we need new ones and we're just gonna put new ones on there with the ARP head studs. However, that would still be cheaper than the estimate that I got from this shop. So I want you to take a look at this estimate and so that you guys know what to expect if you take it to a shop for your head gaskets. Okay, so take a good look. All I know is that I have bad head gaskets, okay? I don't know that I have anything other than bad head gaskets. I don't know if my heads are warped. Nobody really knows that until they actually dig into it. So this is them just claiming 
that my head gaskets need to be replaced and this is what it would cost. So if you look, there's gaskets on here, you know, EGR cooler gaskets, intake manifold, you know, these kind of type of gaskets. They're gonna do a turbo hardware kit, that kind of stuff. 23 hours of labor at $110 an hour, you know, we're looking at a pretty fat bill. Now, if you look, here's the automotive machining. They were gonna try to charge me $800 for machining heads that they don't even know are warped. And then coolant, you know, uh, recharging the AC, and then there's some hazardous shop materials because of the Freon and the AC, and them having to do all that kind of stuff. So this is what they're trying to charge me. And that's the bill. $5,700 for head gaskets, not including an EGR cooler or an oil cooler. That's what they're trying to charge me with tax, with everything going into the bill that I showed you guys. $5,700 for head gaskets. Talking about $800 on machining heads that they don't even know are warped. You know, they told me that they won't even touch it without taking the heads to the shop to have them machined. And we don't even know if they're warped. I don't know if they are, maybe they are. But they didn't dig into it to find that out. And like I said, we don't even know if it's past the level that they're even able to be machined at where they would just have to be replaced in the first place. So these are things that you need to look out for if you have bad head gaskets on your 6.0 and taking it to a shop. Now I called another shop and he told me that that's a crazy price. Um, he told me that he would do ARP head studs. He would do an EGR cooler, an oil cooler, and the head gaskets, labor included, around $4,200. So when I told him that I already had the EGR cooler and the oil cooler replaced with the ARP head studs and the head gaskets, he was telling me with labor, we're looking at around $3,800, much better than what I was told. And he actually told me that he'll let me know when we're in there, if the heads are warped, if they need to be replaced. He said, it's pretty unlikely that they're warped, but you know, you have to get in there to find that out before you're going to start charging people to machine the heads and stuff like that, which, they didn't even entertain the thought. They just wanted to do them anyway. So that's where I'm at. I'm booked for that guy at the end of this month. I'm going to get that done. If everything is good, I'm gonna start recommending his uh, shop to people that are in the uh, Salt Lake City area um, cause I've called many shops in the area and that was the best price. Very knowledgeable, super nice guy. And I think that that's gonna be done to my standards where I want it and I'm not gonna get overcharged. So, like I said, if you guys are having issues with your head gaskets, these are things to look out for. These are things that shops are gonna tell you. I'm not saying your heads are not warped and I'm not saying that they don't need to be machined, but technically these are non-machinable heads. So, like I said, gray area, but they actually need to get in there and measure them, find out how warped they are, find out how much they need to be machined because if they need to be machined, like I said, five one thousandth of an inch, they're bad. You can't machine them, get them replaced. $1,500, you can get new cylinders, you know? So I was just, I found that out. I got that bill. We're gonna get that taken care of, but these are things to look out for when doing your head gaskets. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned. We're going to do an update again after it's completely done. You know, watch my previous video on the, um, the symptoms of bad head gaskets. Watch my videos, um, about the truck. I have some other videos posted on the channel. Um, please go ahead, follow, subscribe, like, comment. Tell me how much you hate my truck. Tell me how much you hate yours. Tell me how much you love it. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned.